Okay, we are stringing flowers on the lights that go on the top of our canopy. I will show you a video of that when we actually have it set up. But this year our new thing is weaving these flower okay, lays. I just wanted to come on here and say I ordered these lays off of AliExpress. You can also find them on Amazon. Officially heading out to our first festival since the pandemic started. Yay. That <laughs> sounded so sarcastic, didn't it? Hello, y'all. It's Valerie here from Pisces Mountain Farm. And let's see. I've been back from my music festival for a couple of days now. And for the most part, it went pretty well. There were a couple of hiccups. Sorry, my hair is... It's in my back. Um, there were a couple hiccups. Uh, when we first got there, our neighbors were kind of complaining where the attendant parked us and told us where to set up camp, and they didn't realize we were in our tent and could hear them. But later, once their friends got there and they all found a parking spot near them, the mood changed and the tension was broken so I didn't let it get me down though I mean maybe I did let it get me down a little bit but I didn't let it ruin my time so I didn't get much footage while I was there I got a couple of pictures and a few second shot of one of the bands and I also got a little bit of footage from us walking through the campground like the first night with my and showing my tent in the daytime so I'll insert that here camping at Mountain Music Festival <laughs> we shall round the corner and go look at our tent <laughs> it's not extra Should I open up and show our bedroom? I think if you're going to do that, you probably ought to straighten the bed up. So. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here's our bedroom. It's still a bit messy. Yeah, that was my tent. I didn't get any footage of it at night. And I really did not get any footage of hardly anything while we were there. I did get a little clip of the bus ride. I'll put some of that footage in here. Okay, the bus ride is usually like one of the funnest parts, but the majority of the time that we were on it this week, weekend, to be honest, it was just us and maybe a couple other people. But if you get on that bus at the right time, like, it's a party in itself. So, that's always good. Um, the festival sold out this year, so there were a lot more people. And there were a lot more people there on Wednesday night than I've ever seen. But, the one thing that it did get me thinking of while I was there was community. And, at these festivals, there is a big community of festival goers they all see each other at shows they all see each other at different festivals and i am part of this community however i live so far away from everybody else really that i'm not there in the downtime so these people um 
these people see each other around town like at local concerts and all that stuff so they kind of have this bond and I kind of am lacking that bond and it just made me very aware of it um, festivals sometimes have a way of leading you to it makes me a little down like I, I long for connection and I live in a town where it's a very small rural, rural town so in a a very small mostly rural state to be honest so there are very few people in my area that I really connect with and I don't have a sense of that in-person like community there's no one that I can call if I'm going to be out of town and my plants need watered I have to rely on mother nature or I mean my sons will do it for me um, and the same goes with, you know, the whole YouTube homesteading farming community. Um, I don't really feel much a part of that either. I have a few people that, you know, we do watch each other's videos and I do kind of talk to, so I don't feel completely out of the loop, but... I don't feel that sense of community that other people best friend lives about two to two and a half hours away that I see one to maybe six times a year. Um, I literally have no friends in my hometown. So, I mean, I that, know that that's on me. I'm kind of a loner. I don't go anywhere. I... I stay on my farm and I go to concerts. If there's no concerts going on, I stay on my farm. I go to the grocery store when I have to. But that doesn't lend itself to meeting people and... It just... The whole thing had me thinking of community and had me thinking of like... That's not something I get out of this. A lot of people say that that's something that they really... That really enriches them about this... You know, farming, gardening, homesteading is the community aspect. I say community too much in here. But for me, it's literally just, I feel better when I grow things. That's all it boils down to. My kind of theme for this spring has been, I don't know what I'm building, but I'm building something. And the second one is, the little things add up. Because I tend to get lost in the, I've got so far to go, or I've got so much to do, but if I can just get one thing done, that's fine because the little things add up. So even though the festival left me with a longing for community, I did also gain a sense of community because I was surrounded by people who were like-minded and who I didn't have to be on guard in front of. And I did get to hang out with my BFF. So, this is kind of just my festival wrap-up. I didn't get any fashion videos. I didn't get too much concert video. I didn't get too many pictures because, honestly, I was living in the moment having a good time. We got to go to the lake. I got to eat really yummy food. I got to meet some really cool people. got to share stories and laughs. So, it was still awesome, and I had a great time.